Mr. Michigan's Big Show. Dave, I like the way you teed up that music for my next guest. That's my job. You do, you do a great job. Thanks for having me today. Dwayne Gill sitting in for Michael Patrick Shield. I'm really excited because I've got not only get an opportunity to, uh, to to do this for the first time in the guest host, but I got one of my good friends here, uh, Representative Barb Byram. How are oh, you? My soul. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. You know, I, I was thinking about what kind of guests I want to have. I want to have fun people on the show today. <laughs> Fun well, thank people. you, thank you, thank you. I've got coffee in me, so I'm 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 a fun person now. You are, you are. So tell me, what is going on? You, I know you've been a state rep for how many years now? Almost six. So Almost. I'm going to be term limited out of the house. Okay, yeah. okay. And you're running for? I'm running for county clerk for right. Ingham County. Outstanding. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, voting is such a integral part of democracy, and as chair of the House redistricting, or as Democratic vice chair of the House redistricting. And elections committee this just fits perfectly okay. and i just i'm really looking forward to this opportunity now if you become the the clerk for ingham county do you have any any ideas anything that you want to change or anything that you're, you're looking at to to do as oh my soul yes yes i'm looking <laughs> at utilizing social media you know how much i enjoy social Absolutely. media and i think the clerk's office needs to really focus on social media to to, to do some outreach and grassroots organizing and get people registered to vote and make sure that public meetings are, are um, offered online so that people know where they're going to be so the notice is posted online. Okay. And I think we need to make the clerk's office more user-friendly okay. than it is right now. Okay. So you're talking about using Facebook, Twitter, using all the social media tools that are available to be able to get people out to do this. Absolutely. And, and, and the website needs to be updated. Oh, and we yeah. need to... Um, I have coffee hours as a legislator, and I think the clerk should have coffee hours. Be out in the community, uh, be more um, accessible. Yeah, okay. much more yeah. accessible. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. see you looking for that word. Yeah, yeah. the oh. coffee. I, I need another. Job. I want. Oh. I want this job. Sounds like she's going to drink coffee and go on Facebook. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she is my Facebook friend as well as Twitter, and uh, she definitely does a good job. And she actually, and she helps me out too uh, with my comedy and whatnot. And she does a lot of retweets for me. You know, yeah. that's how it's Twitter people talk. Dave. Oh no, the retweets. You try your. You try your comedy act out on Ms. Byron. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's seen it a few times. You know, <laughs> it's been kind of embarrassing a few times, but it's still good. It's still good. I try to keep it. I try to keep it. PG, okay. All right. 13. But, yeah, right. But as far as uh, yeah, PG 13, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, tell me, what what are you working on right now in the legislature? I know we're going in the lame duck, and right, and you right, guys right. are, you know, my minority. What 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 do you see yourself maybe getting a chance to push through? Anything? You know, yesterday we pushed for some reforms to our election process to make sure we curbed the election fraud that we saw a few months back. Okay. And unfortunately, those were voted down by the Republicans. But we're going to continue okay. to try to clean up our elections. Yes. And then also um, to make sure that we retain auto no fault in our great state. I'm a, I'm very passionate about auto no fault in our state. So I want to make sure that we do not um, cut our citizens short mm -hmm. um, in that regard as well. So right. we'll be fighting uh, this the, the rest of this year to make sure that we are standing up for working families. Outstanding. Outstanding. I like that. You know, because again, I pay no. Everybody pays insurance and. I wish those rates could go down. What do you think, Dave? Ah, uh, yeah, you know, like you said, some of us pay insurance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just I kidding. I think it's like twenty percent of the drivers do not pay auto insurance. Is that really that high? Yeah. There's that many uninsured out on the road. That was the last statistic I heard. Yeah, it's very concerning. It's, it's so easy to do now, too. I mean, you go online and you yeah. and you print out a, a, a certificate and you're done. Yeah, absolutely. But we have so many less cops on the road right now to yeah. catch people. Yeah, right. Yeah. I read. I read that um, drunk driving arrests are down in our state it's not because people aren't drunk drive, driving driving drunk them. it's because we don't have the police officers right, to right. catch them right, right. yeah yeah manpower is really down you know since 2000 since i think i saw a statistic since um the year 2000 we're down um like you know, fifteen thousand cops, some, something really astronomical. But isn't that the double-edged sword too, Gil? Because you know what, you put more cops on the force, and all of a sudden the crime rate appears to go through the roof. And all it is is because we're catching them. Yeah, well, that's a good thing, you know. But a lot of times, like she says, as far as the drunk driving arrest, cops now are are, are slaves to nine one one, and they're going to calls, and they're not able to get out there and do directed patrol uh, where they would find violators for. Uh, for no, you know, for not having insurance, for speeding, for for drunk driving. So, you know, it, it, it's all cyclical, and it's something that we need to address. But I'm so glad that you're still in the legislature for right thank now, you, and you. that you're going to get some things done. So, uh, but I'm really looking forward to you being the the, the new clerk. What what? Can, 
tell me how how you being the clerk is going to benefit me because I, I'm a Lansing resident and since I know you I want to make sure I can get something out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good question. As a layman, I don't even know what the county clerk really does. Well, yeah. really. Tell us. Tell the us. county clerk is in charge of voting in our county. Okay. Um, so the elections in our county, also um, DBAs doing business as uh, birth certificates, death certificates, mar CCW? marriage license. CCWs, yes. So all of those things um, fall under the county clerk in our county. And um, one of the differences I think you'll see right out of the gate, if I'm fortunate enough to be elected, is I'm going to be accessible in all forms of media, whether it's Twitter, if you send me a direct message or a reply message in Twitter, Facebook, email, okay. certainly my cell phone, my, my office oh, yeah. phone. I am accessible, and I think I... Um, I have a history of being extremely accessible, mm -hmm. and I and I look forward to continuing that. And and I and I can definitely agree with you because you are, you know, um, just uh, the time that I've been here in Lansing, even even when your mother was was state rep, she did a great job, and you just continued continued on. Are you going to still be working at the hardware store too? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, my hardware store. Now that I have children, I'm not there as much as I'd like. Uh huh. Um, but yes, I still have the hardware store in Charlotte, and and just love being a business owner. That's awesome. And I see the kids are in the studio too. I tell you, Barb, you got your hands full. I do. <laughs> I, I bribed them. If they're good, they get donuts yeah, after awesome. this. So awesome. hopefully they and a bonus coffee. <laughs> right. No, 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 no coffee. Well, thanks so much for being on the big show and helping me in my inaugural uh, guest hosting duties. You've had me on your show. I'm glad to have you on mine. My pleasure and happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank oh, you. making me feel bad yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Happy yeah. belated birthday, Dwayne. I didn't tell you guys about that. I'm, <laughs> I'm 48, but I'm only 38 online. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, coming back to you for the Michigan Big Show. Thanks so much again. And, uh, hey, we're live right here at the Grand Travis Pie Company coming from your AT&T microphones. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. My pleasure.